it's snowing outside, but I'm just going to run over and drop my Christmas cards in the postal box. Let's go. to Vlogmas Day 2. If this is the first time you're joining me, my name is Pamela and my goal is to film videos during each day of Vlogmas, which runs from December 1st to December 24th. My Advent coffee today is very yummy. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And I have some events to share with you today before I start work. So maybe we should get right into that. So the first advent that I'm going to open today is my Koi Goo set from Galt House of Yarn. If you were with me yesterday, then you remember that this is a self-made advent calendar. It did not come as an advent calendar and I had my daughter put the skeins into little burlap sacks for me so that I could have an advent calendar. So I'm just gonna pick the one on top. I think I picked a good choice if you can see here it's very um, similar to the one I picked yesterday only lighter it's um, a tonal and it almost looks like it could be a fade so I um, yes it almost looks like it could be a fade when used together I just don't know what the rest of them are going to be like but these two are have uh, definitely similar color tones this one has some pink in it which is really interesting very nice
And next, I am going to open my art yarn from Sweet Nestings. It does not have a particular day, so I'm just going to reach in and grab one. So pretty. This is really interesting. This um, has different colors of pink and peach and orange. It's got a summer vibe to it that I like a lot. Very pretty. This is the one I had yesterday completely different, but lovely. That's really nice. Oh, I also have an advent calendar from Rose Hill Yarns, but I'm not going to open that one today because it's 12, 12, it's a 12 day advent. So I'm going to open one of these every second day and I opened one yesterday. So that means I cannot open one today. This one is a cosmetic advent calendar. Yesterday I got some cooling um, gel cream for my hands. I did not try it yet. Actually, it's like the perfect size to go into a project bag because it's always nice to have some hand cream in each of your project bags. So that's probably what I will do. So again, here's number two. Oh, it's kind of a tall. Hold on and hold it up so you can see it. There's got to be a way to do this without tearing the whole thing apart. So this is a Verbena body lotion. I think, yes, I can smell it. It smells really nice. That's a good size container too. Very nice. I could actually put this in one of my project bags as well. I think that's a good idea. Last but not least, my advent calendar from Twice Sheared Sheep. This is an advent calendar of knitting accessories, I think. Yesterday I got a beautiful project bag and I'm excited to see what I'll get this year. I mean, <laughs> I'm excited to see what I'll get today. So I just have to find box number two. Here it is, right in the middle. I don't want to wreck these boxes. <clears throat> in general, I'm not the kind of person who usually cares about packaging or wrecking boxes, that sort of thing. But uh, this one is just really nice. I feel like I, I could reuse this somehow. Ooh, what is it? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so this is a little tin with a butterfly on it that could be used for holding progress keepers or stitch markers. It's really lovely. It's it looks like a water color butterfly on the front. That's really pretty. That's exciting. 
So I was wondering if any of you had the chance to or wanted to download that free advent calendar that I had showed you yesterday. Um, I was wondering if anybody's using it. If you did download it, please uh, put a comment below because I'd be really happy to know if um, other people are using it and enjoying it. I love it. Put this here. Take a drink of my coffee. It's in my little snowman mug. This is a travel mug. It's got a lid and it does keep things nice and warm. But um, when I'm at home, I generally don't keep the lid on it. Something else that I wanted to talk about are Advent projects. So I was just wondering, I've heard a lot of other knitting YouTube podcasters or vloggers talk about having Advent projects, whether it be um, knitting a... Um, knitting a band of color each day on their socks or um, specifically choosing an advent project such as the Land of Sweets Cowl or the Radvent Cardigan by Amber O'Brien. There's quite a few different advent projects available on Ravelry. And I was just wondering if anybody is doing those or if you're too busy um, working on your gift knits for Christmas. I, I know it's the second and I have not cast on an advent project, but I'm wondering if I should. And I'm just wondering what everybody else is doing. Are you guys casting on advent projects? If so, which ones are you casting on? I might still do it. I know we're already on the second, but I feel like I still have time. Um, on the other hand, I do have a lot of whips <laughs> and I'm not sure if I could, should cast on uh, an additional project. I also have something that I wanted to knit as a gift. I, I think it would only, it's a hat. So I think it would only take a couple of days to knit it up. Anyways, I'm tossing the idea around still of casting on an advent project, but I haven't decided yet, but I haven't decided yet. I guess I kind of have to decide today. So one, so one of the whips, I said I have a lot of whips and I do. One of my whips that I'm currently working on is the cordy sweater it comes from the moon and turtle book and oops i don't want to lose any stitches again i am um participating in a knit along it's it's very it's a very low-key knit along um christine from the woolen wave store is running this knit along and I ordered the piece fleece for the project from her online shop. She was really good about helping me choose colors and that, um, which I didn't end up even using the colors that I did choose. So the piece fleece is, has a really interesting feeling to it. It doesn't feel like other types of wool. I think it's because it has a certain amount of mohair added to it. <clears throat> so the black the back is, is Peace Fleece and the color is called Baku Black. The white is also Peace Fleece and that's Antarctic White. And the gray is Peace Fleece and that's called Father's Gray. So the two colorways that are not Peace Fleece are this gold, this yellow, golden yellow color and this purpley fuchsia color. Those two are Let Lopi and I ordered them separately. 
I really um, felt like the original color that I chose was too close to the gray. I had chosen a teal and I decided that I um, would prefer a pop of color. So I ordered a few skeins of the Let Low Be and, and I'm, I'm super happy with the way this is going. I'm, I can't wait to wear this. I think the black and white is super dramatic and it's not like any other types of um, color work yoke sweaters that I've seen before. I think it really adds like a nice modern vibe to it. Anyways, I really can't wait to wear this. I'm right where I need to split for the sleeves and I should just go ahead and do that so that I can knit some simple stockinette and get this off my needles because I, I really want to wear it. If you hear some snorting, it's my dog. Okay. I think she's snoring or making some other kind of noise. <clears throat> oh. I should, oops. I should also mention that this project is li living in my extra large box bag um, by Longview Creations. And I love this bag. I love the colors. I love the fabric. And I think that's all that I have for right now. I do have to get to work this morning. Again, please um, leave me a comment if you are participating in any Advent um, So I do have to get to work this morning. Please leave me a comment below if you are, please leave me a comment below if you have cast it on an Advent project. I would be super interested to know that. Also leave me a comment if you downloaded the free at Jackie Lawson Advent calendar that I talked about yesterday because I'd also be really super interested to know that as well. Okay, have a good day and we'll chat again later.